And new overnight results from New Hampshire's closely watched GOP primary elections. In the Republican Senate primary, Decision Desk HQ projects close Trump ally and political newcomer Don Boldick has beaten the more moderate Chuck Morse. Boldick has said that he would not certify President Biden's re-election victory if he wins the, the Senate space and also uh, Biden wins in 2024. A lot of ifs there. Also in New Hampshire's first congressional district, we project Caroline Leavitt has beaten Matt Mowers. Both are former Trump administration officials, but Leavitt has backed the former president's stolen election claims in no uncertain terms. And voters may be ready to hit the skip button on a potential rematch between President Biden and former President Trump in 2024 as we talk about the potential race. A brand new Harvard Caps Harris poll shared exclusive with the Hill finds most Americans do not want either the president or his predecessor to run again. 67% say President Biden should not seek another term in office. 57% say the same about Mr. Trump. And our friend Niall Stanage, uh, Niall Stanage, let me not get tongue tied, a White House columnist for the Hill is joining us right now. There are some obvious reasons voters say they're not keen on a rematch, but just for kicks and giggles, uh, what are they? Well, basically, they're because in the case of President Biden, they don't feel that he's performed well enough or some feel that he's too old. In the case of former President Trump, the reasons cited are things to do with uh, divisiveness or the legacy of January the 6th or the more broad sense that he is too erratic to lead the country again. And if the poll finds if the two do end up running, most voters would be open to some sort of uh, moderate spoiler. What would that look like? That's a great question because I think sometimes those are the kind of poll results that look better when the moderate independent candidate isn't named because then people can project their own desires onto whoever it is rather than it being a specific person. I doubt myself that there's really room for any kind of never Trump Republican candidate. Um, there may be a, an attempt by a third party candidate to run and that's quite tricky. The one thing that I would think could perhaps get some traction is a candidate who's not a conventional politician, perhaps from the celebrity world or the sporting world or something uh, like that. Not someone necessarily as, uh, as brash as Mr. Trump was when he first ran, but maybe a more sort of caring, uh, like an Oprah Winfrey type of candidate. An Oprah Winfrey, a Dwayne Johnson, you know, there are different people who say, oh, I wish they were president. Uh, the poll uh, did right. find that if voters had to choose, 45 percent would go with Trump versus 42 percent President Biden. It's far from certain that Florida Governor Ron DeSantis would run. Uh, but what are the likelihoods uh, that there are any Democratic challengers to President Biden? Depends how his fortunes go from now on, I think, Adrian. I think if his fortunes improve, these chances of a challenger are very unlikely. But there could very well be a challenge if Democrats believe that Biden is almost certain to lose. Then it becomes open season. Now, the history of this isn't great for the party in power. Um, in the past half century, there have only been a couple of serious challenges to a sitting president. In 1980, Ted Kennedy challenged Jimmy Carter. In 1992, Pat Buchanan challenged George H.W. Bush. In both those cases, the incumbent president survived the challenge but lost the general election. Mm. Niall Sanage, a little history lesson. Thank you so much. We appreciate seeing you. Always. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.